Mr. Thornhart, while I appreciate your admission of guilt and your willingness to accept responsibility for your actions, I'm afraid no amount of remorse will change them. You severely beat and almost killed an innocent man, Todd Manning. Regardless of your motives or beliefs, the law cannot stand for such a crime. It requires me to mete out a just sentence, which I have no doubt is the maximum allowed. But I ask for the victim's point of view, and as such, I must consider it. Mr. Manning believes that the suffering of your family in your absence would be greater than that caused by your hand, which leads me to wonder if by sending you to prison, I would be the one committing the larger crime. I'm inclined to answer in the affirmative. For this reason, I'm choosing to accept the Commonwealth's recommendation. I hereby sentence you to time served plus two years probation and 5,000 hours of community service. But I warn you, Mr. Thornhart, if while on probation, you should decide to disregard the gift that Mr. Manning has given you today and instead return to reckless action, consider committing any kind of malfeasance. Get so much as a parking ticket. I will send you to jail. Don't test me. Court is adjourned. All rise. <laughs> thank you so much. Don't thank me. Thank you, victim. And he was wearing an expensive suit. That's all I remember. Thank you for your help. Really. What do you think? Well, at least now we have an idea as to what Bennett Thompson looks like. Remember, no further contact with Hannah O'Connor. If she tries to call you again, just hang up the phone. Hang up. Yes, and then call me immediately. No, I'm sorry, I have to go. Congratulations. Dad, that was amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, you didn't have to do that. Uh, Thank you. No big deal. See, I told you you had it in you. My good side? Yeah, and you can pretend that it doesn't exist all you want, but now we all know that it does. Mr. Manning. Thank you. Don't mention it. Look, I said that I owe you an apology, and I meant it. I'm sorry for everything. And I appreciate you giving me another chance. I'm going to make sure that you don't regret it. Okay. Can I talk to you down here just a second? Excuse us. Um, I didn't give you another chance. <laughs> what? Yeah, just keep smiling. Um, I did this for my daughter and my granddaughter. Uh, and making them happy uh, gives you some kind of free ride that's fine with me. Nothing I can do about it. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. It's for starting hope to be happy. We'll see. But for now, you punk, you owe me, okay? And I intend to collect. Hey, not too shabby, Mr. Man. Mm -hmm. Told the judge what I actually think. You should try that more often. You could have been petty, gone after revenge. That sounds better. Hey, proud of you. Me too. Officer, what did I do? Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but you should thank Todd. I know, I know, and I did. <laughs> but I just wanted to thank you, too. All in a day's work. Bye. Bye. I am 
so happy that you're not going to prison. I know, I can't believe it. And the thought of losing you and Hope. I didn't know how I was going to tell Hope that her daddy wasn't coming home. Uh, about what I told you before, everything um, with Hannah. Right. Are you still upset? Yes. But I'm trying to forget about it. You are. I am. I want us both to move on and just forget about him. Why are you calling me? You almost killed me! Lord, please, we need to talk. What the hell would I want to talk about with you? Elijah Clark. <laughs>